It is opening day for the 2016 General Assembly session, where the topic of the day seems to be Governor Larry Hogan's proposed tax cuts. Our Patricia Valone is in Annapolis with more on the story. Now that's right, those proposed tax cuts were a hot topic today as the first day of the legislative session kicked off. Now Governor Hogan's plan includes increasing the personal exemption for seniors from $1,000 to $5,000 and reductions in state fees and services. He called for bipartisanship to get his plan passed. Uh, I don't care what side of the aisle the ideas come from. Uh, we want to come together with common sense solutions uh, to solve some of the problems that face our state. We're very open-minded, willing to listen to the ideas uh, that you have, that you bring to the debate. I was pleased to see that he was focusing on the uh, families that are in need help, uh, focusing on economic growth. I, I think the Maryland General Assembly needs to take a look at that, uh, the, the balancing of how we give tax relief versus making sure that our budget doesn't return uh, to uh, a difficult uh, balanced position as it has in the past. We should give it a, a thorough looking over. The idea of trying to attract more manufacturing to the state makes sense. I think some of the things go beyond the pale. I mean, having people who make $60,000 not have to pay income tax for 10 years, while other employees and working people around the state have to pay it, seems a little bizarre to me. A series of health proposals are also expected during this legislative session, including bills dealing with heroin addiction, terminally ill patients, and paid sick leave. Now, meantime, the Maryland Democratic Party has released a statement saying that many of the governor's proposals have already been introduced by Democrats and that the governor has failed to release a plan on how to pay for his ideas. From Annapolis, I'm Patricia Vallone, CTV News.